A team of researchers has proven that AI can now reconstruct images a human sees simply by using the brain activity signals generated by them. The results are so impressive, some are claiming that this AI can read our minds, and others are already speculating that soon we'll be able to use this to visualize our very own dreams. If true, this would be a breakthrough that could shed light on mysteries from our earliest memories to even death itself. However, this technology could be used for much darker purposes that could risk your very own freedom. Let's look at how this works, see the actual images it produced, and answer the question, can AI read your mind? <laughs> Hello puppets, welcome back. I'm MetaPuppet. FMRI is a technique that allows researchers to map specific brain regions involved in cognitive tasks, emotions, and sensory processing. This technique works really well, but it has an issue. It's very expensive. And I'll tell you in a little bit why right now, that's actually a good thing. So this brain mapping is perfect for training AI models, but because of the cost, the amount of available data is almost non-existent, which makes it really hard to train an AI model specifically for these mind reading techniques. Until researchers Yu Takagi and Shinji Nishimoto made a brilliant discovery. In 2022, Stable Diffusion was released and it introduced the concept of lightweight latent diffusion models. AI-generated art was suddenly everywhere, and it gave the researchers an idea. Could Stable Diffusion reconstruct images from brain signals? First, let's understand what a latent diffusion model, or LDM, is. It's a type of AI model that is trained to generate a high-resolution image based on the text prompt it receives. It starts with fully random noise, similar to TV static. And if you request a picture of, say, a cat, the LDM denoises the image until it becomes a cat. You can include a starting image with a text prompt to give you more control over the final outcome, and that's essentially what these researchers did, but they did it with a twist. Instead of using a starting image and a text prompt like you would with Stable Diffusion, they used brain activity as their prompts. Signals were added from two parts of the brain, the occipital lobe, which represented the starting image, and the temporal lobe, which represented the text. And I think the best way to present this is by showing you the original image that the person was looking at last. So here we go. The subject is shown a picture, the brain activity is captured by fMRI and fed to the LDM. This first image was created from brain activity in the occipital lobe. This represents our starting image and it looks like nothing because the occipital lobe predominantly registers information about layout and perspective of the contents. This next image was obtained from brain activity in the temporal lobe. This represents our text prompt, and it looks much better because the temporal lobe predominantly registers information like people, objects, or scenery. Now, when this information was combined, it gave the researchers this image, a denoised latent representation of the final. Now, take a look at the original image that the subject was looking at. For anyone who's unimpressed, I want to be clear. The AI never saw the original image. It created this just by looking at a bunch of brain activity. Here are some other examples from the study, with the original image on top and the AI recreated image below it. The results are incredible. Let's think about the potential future implications of this on your life, starting with dreams. Assuming that brain patterns generated while dreaming are similar to the ones generated by seeing images, this AI model would be able to accurately recreate a picture of what you're dreaming about. Take it a step further with generative AI, and you could literally create a video of your dream for you and others to watch. And this might not only work with dreams, but also possibly memories. Think about this scenario. Your grandmother has a memory about her bedroom as a little girl. Regardless if no film, video, or photographs were ever taken of her childhood room, this AI model could recreate it based on the image in her mind and you'd be able to see it with your own eyes. Go a step further and add in a VR headset and you'd actually be able to step inside your grandmother's memory of her childhood bedroom. There are potential therapeutic use cases, perhaps those suffering from PTSD or anxiety. A therapist could see the memory that a patient is suffering from with their own eyes, analyze it, and maybe even play it back for the patient if facing that fear is something they recommended. What about coma patients? Imagine being able to see on a screen what a person in a coma is seeing in their mind. It's already been proven that some coma patients can hear the outside world. Could this AI lead to some kind of communication breakthrough? And in the future, could this possibly be a two-way street where we'd be able to project an image of a loved one into the patient's mind to let them know that the loved one is there? Last but certainly not least, what about death? 
In 1990, there was a movie called Flatliners, where medical students purposely stopped their hearts to experience death, only to be resuscitated so they could share their experience with the others. Could this AI model be used in a similar way, but with the added twist of showing on screen what the person drifting off into the unknown is experiencing? Whether you call it heaven, hell, another dimension, or life flashing before a person's eyes, could this AI actually give us, for the first time, a glimpse into the afterlife? If an AI model were able to decode thoughts, imagine decoding people's memories of historical events and watching them as if it were an episode on the History Channel, or seeing vivid representations of your parents when they were little, or perhaps seeing long-deceased relatives that you maybe never had the opportunity of meeting. Now, as always, with such powerful technology, these amazing possibilities could also open Pandora's box in other ways that we really don't want. Imagine a world where governments and enforcement agencies were capable not only of surveilling your actions, but also your thoughts. Yeah, it's Minority Report, where the thoughts can just be pulled out of your head and seen by other people. That would be the end not only of free speech, but also of free thought. That's a nightmarish scenario, but fortunately, it's one that still seems far away for the reason I mentioned earlier, cost. As it turns out, brain patterns are not one size fits all. They diverge between humans, meaning that models would have to be tailored to each human being on the planet to be accurate. So unless you consent to laying perfectly still and concentrating on thousands of images inside a clanging claustrophobic MRI tube, no existing AI model would have enough data to start decoding your brain activity. Also, the fMRI machines themselves cost millions, so the cost of generating that data would be too much for now. So can this AI actually read your mind? According to the researchers, not yet. AI models are only good at tasks for which they've been explicitly trained. Stable diffusion can only infer that an object is present if the brain pattern matches one seen in the training data, so this limits the objects it can recreate to those present in the photos used during training. Furthermore, a model trained on how you perceive images won't work for trying to decode what concepts you're thinking about, although researcher Shinji Nishimoto hopes that with further refinements, the technology could be used to intercept imagined thoughts and dreams. So while this current model is not actually reading your mind, it's clear that with AI, the train has already left the station. And despite the current technology's limitations, the time to think about privacy and negative uses of this technology is now, even though we may not yet be at the stage where these things could happen. So what do you think? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the future.